of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Hi, family. It's Tiffany from Open Eyes of Heart. I have a message that was given to me from the Holy Spirit to Seven Hills Church. However, this message could benefit the whole body. I give all honor and glory to Heavenly Father for words, dreams, and visions. Father, please bring this message to all who need to hear it, and especially Seven Hills Church. I was given this message on September 8th, 2024. Tiffany, you're receiving revelation about the materialistic church who is known as Seven Hills Church. They are using stimulants and God is appearing. And the stimulant has them, not hearing the Holy Spirit's voice. Tiffany, you will be in that church. Its influence is increasing and having them becoming insignificant. And they are going to miss their resurrection of life. God is appearing and they need to hear the voice of the Father or they will continue to be insignificant. Tiffany, this revelation, this is revelation, so they can hear the voice of the Father. They need to get off of the stimulants so they can begin to have a date with destiny when God is appearing. The stimulant is caffeine. Um, there is a free coffee bar at Seven Hills Church. I suppose most churches have that. Um, caffeine is a drug. It blocks us from hearing the spirit. If we're dependent on it, then we're not free, we're ensnared. Caffeine is addictive and we become dependent on it. Jesus wants us to be reliant on only him and he wants us to take care of our temples and to hear his voice. It's trusting in something other than Jesus. If we don't have control over our temples and what we put in it, then your flesh has control. He wants us to have dominion over our flesh he wants us to control our flesh and not the flesh controlling us. In 1 Corinthians 9, 27, Paul says, but I discipline my body and keep it under control. In 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20, it says, do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. John 10, 27 through 28, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. If we don't hear his voice, how can we be led by his spirit and know his perfect will and follow him? Overeating and eating rich foods can block us from hearing, but so can stimulants. I personally love coffee. About a year and a half ago, father had me quit caffeine along with changing my diet so I could hear him. I can remember my first coffee buzz back in college, back in the 90s. I had my first double latte and um, it made me feel pretty good. I had, um, I was productive, I had energy and um, what was being released was an increase of serotonin and dopamine and which is what drugs release in your brain. It's a feel good chemical um, and it's pleasure that we get. And that's why we keep doing it over and over. But um, caffeine is addictive again. So um, I did quit 10 years ago for a little while, uh, coffee and tea to do a detox for about a month. And I was at work and I had a green tea, what I thought was decaf. And it was not, um, it was very strong. After you get the caffeine out of your system, um, it's, it's almost too much. It takes about eight hours of coffee or eight hours for coffee to process through your system. That's why when you drink it later in the afternoon, you cannot sleep. Then you have to have coffee to get through your day and then you crash midday and it becomes a vicious cycle. Once it's out of your system, you will have better sleep and good natural energy that sustains you throughout the day. Give yourself a good three days to get through the detox, the headache and the fatigue. And if you need a three-day water fast to overcome the addiction, that's recommended as well. In Romans 12, 1 through 2, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercy of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern 
what is the will of God and what is good, acceptable, and perfect. The Lord wants us off of caffeine and any other stimulant drugs so we can hear him and be led by him. If we're not being led by him or obeying him, we won't make the gathering of believers. You'll be left behind for further refinement. In order to be ready for the gathering and to top off our oil, we need to be reading, praying, worshiping, communing daily, and fasting often. Pray and seek him. I love you, family, and thank you for listening. God bless you. Shalom.